I've been a lifetime Cloudflare user, and while I've loved my experience, I wanted to know if other platforms could manage to beat the performance, reliability, and security that Cloudflare offers. What if other platforms are actually better? In this video, I tested Bunny.net to see how it compares to Cloudflare and if it's worth making the switch. So what's wrong with Cloudflare? Well, nothing. Cloudflare offers a ton of solutions, from DNS management, to a CDN, to a domain registrar, but I'm mainly going to be focusing on their DNS management and CDN stack. Cloudflare offers an extremely competitive free plan, and I've never paid a dime for any of their services on my website. I've been an evangelist of their platform for years. I'll tell people that the best free way to increase your website's speed, security, and reliability is by using Cloudflare's proxy and DNS management. But I started wondering if I might be using Cloudflare just because it's the popular option. I wanted to know what the top Cloudflare competitor was, and it seems like the best option that offers a CDN and DNS management is Bunny.net. So what is Bunny.net and what sets it apart from Cloudflare? Bunny offers similar services to Cloudflare with a CDN and DNS management, and they offer storage buckets, video streaming services, image optimization, and more. Right away, I noticed that Bunny's product line is much simpler than Cloudflare's, and I think I think that makes it more approachable for beginners. Cloudflare has a complicated product lineup with many solutions targeted at enterprise use cases. I focus mainly on the CDN, DNS management, and domain registrar aspects of Cloudflare, but they offer a plethora of other products targeted at IT professionals, developers, and tech enthusiasts. So I like that Bunny's product lineup is simpler. It may make it an easier sell to beginners who are new to manual DNS management. However, the biggest downside to Bunny is that their CDN service technically isn't free. The DNS management is free, but if you want to boost your site's performance with the CDN service, you'll pay between one cent and six cents per gigabyte of bandwidth use, depending on the region where the content is served. There's also a $1 monthly minimum, and I think that's what most users will end up paying. I took a look at my bandwidth usage at Cloudflare, and my Kramer.media site used about four gigs of bandwidth in the last 30 days. I checked some other sites on my Cloudflare account, and many of them used less than one gigabyte of bandwidth in the last 30 days. So I think it's safe to assume that you'll get away with paying a dollar a month for the Bunny CDN unless you have a high traffic website. A dollar a month covers up to 100 gigabytes of bandwidth, so I don't think you'll expect any surprise builds. One thing that is free for everyone is hitting that subscribe button. You can click subscribe and click the bell to make sure you never miss another one of my new videos. After getting familiar with Bunny's product lineup, I signed up for a trial account and set up two identical websites on Cloud Cloudflare and Bunny on two separate domains. They're the same WordPress site running on the same web server. The only difference is one uses the Cloudflare CDN and one uses the Bunny CDN. The setup process at Bunny was rough to put it nicely. I'm used to how Cloudflare blurs the line between DNS management and the CDN setup, and the process of setting up the CDN at Bunny was way more archaic. There's no way to scan the existing DNS records and import them before switching your name servers to Bunny like you can do at Cloudflare. I don't think it's a big deal to manually enter my DNS records or just copy them over from Cloudflare, but I think the DNS scan feature at Cloudflare makes it much more approachable to beginners who have never set up DNS before. I got to work entering my DNS records at Bunny, and I clicked the button to enable the CDN proxy on my A record, and that's when I noticed there wasn't a valid SSL certificate on my domain. One of my favorite features of the Cloudflare proxy is the fact that it automatically generates a free SSL certificate as long as your A record is running through the Cloudflare proxy. You don't have to think about it, it just does it in the background, and as long as the proxy is enabled, you have free SSL on your website. I knew Bunny offered free SSL, but I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. It turns out that there's a separate part of the UI to modify CDN records. Bunny calls these pull zones, and they're essentially a CNAME that points to an IP address, and the cached content is served from the A record. Cloudflare handles all of this automatically in the background. You just create an A record and flip the switch for the proxy to be active. But in Bunny, you have to create a pull zone, point the pull zone to the server, create a CNAME that points to the pull zone, all for SSL to be active. If this sounds complicated, it's because it is. It's not 
not bad if you have a strong understanding of DNS and how Bunny wants you to do the setup, but I was very lost at first. The only reason I figured out how to configure it properly was by asking Bunny's AI chatbot called Fluffy. It was surprisingly helpful, and I was asking some pretty specific questions and getting exact answers on how to solve my configuration errors. I thought this was something that might give Bunny the edge, as Cloudflare doesn't offer support to free users, but then I discovered that Cloudflare recently added an AI chatbot as well. By the way, if you have questions about the setup process for Cloudflare or Bunny, I'm always available to chat in my Discord server. I help as much as I can, and other community members can chime in and help as well. I'll have it linked below if you want to check it out. My setup experience at Bunny had quite the learning curve, but now that I understand how it works, I'll be able to set up sites in the future much faster. Still, the process seems overwhelmingly chaotic, and it's much more streamlined at Cloudflare. I also missed the email forwarding feature offered by Cloudflare. It's useful if you have multiple domains on multiple TLDs and want emails forwarded to your primary inbox on your primary domain. There's a number of free services you can use to accomplish this at Bunny, but then you're relying on another third-party service, and I find that Cloudflare's email forwarding is rock-solid reliable. I've had some issues with other free forwarding services having poor deliverability, and Cloudflare is the first email forwarding service I fully trust. I also missed the option of being able to purchase domains at wholesale prices. If you watched my content before, you know I'm a huge fan of pork buns since it offers the flexibility of being able to point your domain anywhere. And this is one of those scenarios why. Since most of my domains are at pork bun, I could just change the name servers to bunny and not think twice about it. However, if you have been taking advantage of the cheapest domains available at Cloudflare, you'll have to transfer them somewhere else to start using bunny. It would be nice if bunny also offered domains at a similar price point, but sadly, they don't offer a domain registration product. Up to this point, it really isn't looking good for Bunny. You have to pay at least a dollar a month to use the CDN, the setup process is a lot more complicated, and it's missing some of my favorite features that Cloudflare offers. But once I got the same website set up on both CDNs, I was then able to see how the performance compared, and this is what really surprised me. I fully expected Cloudflare to maintain its lead, but the exact opposite was true. I did some non-scientific testing and opened both sites in two browser windows and started clicking around to the same pages back to back. The site served by Bunny felt noticeably zippier. I wanted to see if I could get some data to prove my suspicions, so I ran some tests with Pingdom and GT metrics, and in both cases, Bunny was faster. The difference was minor for tests run in the US since the origin server is located in the US, but for tests I ran in Asia, Bunny was an entire two seconds faster for total page load time. I was honestly shocked that Cloudflare didn't win as they have a significantly larger global network than Bunny. Bunny advertises a global latency of 24 milliseconds compared to Cloudflare's advertised 50 milliseconds, so all I can guess is that Bunny's network is just less crowded. Cloudflare has a bigger network with more servers, but they also have a lot more websites. Over 20% of the internet uses the Cloudflare network. So are the faster speeds enough for me to make the switch to Bunny? Because of the $1 a month price point and lack of email forwarding and other features, there's just not enough there to entice me to make the switch. I appreciate having a slightly faster website, but there are so many extra benefits to Cloudflare, and sacrificing those on top of having to spend money just for a small speed boost doesn't seem worth it. Now, the nice thing about Bunny's pricing is it applies to account usage, not website usage. The $1 monthly minimum applies to all websites on your account, so you can spread that 100 gigabytes of bandwidth across every website. I can move all of my websites over to Bunny and still be comfortably under 100 gigabytes of bandwidth, but it's just not worth the hassle to me. Bunny is a solid service. I enjoyed testing it, and I don't have any problem recommending it. But based on my years of experience with Cloudflare, I think it's the objectively better option, and it's completely free. I really hoped that Bunny might be an easier option for beginners to start exploring manual DNS management, but surprisingly, Cloudflare takes the lead here. The scan and import feature of existing DNS records during setup is invaluable, and the way they've combined the proxy settings and DNS settings so you can just create an A record, flip a switch, and be done with it makes it so much more approachable to beginners. If you're looking for an alternative to Cloudflare because you don't like the company or the product, Bunny.net is a solid option as long as they have the specific features you're looking for. It also may be a good choice if your top priority is making your website as fast as possible. 
especially if you have a large international audience. But when Cloudflare offers more features for less money, it's a hard sell for me to make the switch. Cloudflare even offers a DNS resolver that you can use on your Wi-Fi network to make your web browsing faster. I compared this service to another popular option, so you should check that out here.